My parents are not coming, so I'm just making a snap video. I'm 
Kapapas up na sila mo sa likas. Ito yung sarap dyan kasi dito wala. Di yung ringin siya. Oo! Hado ka ba? Oo! Hado ka ba? Hado ka ba? Abrit! 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 Hado si King Grand! Mas pang ni yun ba? Hindi ba hindi din? Hindi ba flash yan? Mama nga di flash. Mama nga flash? Oo! Oo! Ito yung ringin siya. Ito yung ringin siya. Ganyan raom! Ito yung kamaya raom! Mama nga! Di ba lang kapot na? Ah, 
Hi, this is Peter Jacobson. I'll be reading the story of Hanukkah, adapted by Jeremy Frank. Long ago, in the land of Israel, in the center of the walled city of Jerusalem, there stood a beautiful temple. Outside of Israel, though, there lived a very wicked man named Antiochus, the king of Syria. The king did not like people who had beliefs different than his own, and so he went around the world, forcing his religion on all the people he conquered. When Antiochus and his army invaded Israel and took it over, he decreed that only his gods could be worshipped. He made the Jews swear that they would give up their religion and customs and follow his instead. He also commanded that all of the Jewish temples be converted or destroyed, including the beautiful one in Jerusalem. Those who refused to follow Antiochus' commands were to be severely punished. Some Jews obeyed Antiochus out of fear, but others were brave enough to refuse. Judah Maccabee was one such man. Judah and his brothers were all strong fighters who formed an army of their own to fight King Antiochus and his men. Although they were greatly outnumbered, the Maccabees fought the Syrian army with all their might. With the strength that only comes from fighting for something you truly believe in, Judah and the Maccabees defeated Antiochus and his army and triumphantly reclaimed the temple in Jerusalem. However, when they entered the temple for the first time, they were shocked to see it in shambles. The golden pictures were all tarnished, the marble floors were cracked, and there was no oil to light the menorah. They began cleaning the temple, removing every sign and symbol of the religion that had been forced upon them by their invaders. As they worked, they found a small container of oil. They all knew the little oil they had would only be enough for one night, but then a miracle took place. Instead of going out, the lamps kept burning and burning. They burned for eight days and eight nights, and this way the Maccabees knew God was with them. That is why we celebrate Hanukkah every year, and why we light eight candles in our menorahs. The end. Daniel prophesied about the desecration of the temple. This took place a そうだ、で、ガンシーパラボ。
days until our time. These lights are sacred through all the eight days of Hanukkah. We may not make use of their light but are only to look upon them and thus be reminded to thank and praise you for the wondrous miracle of our deliverance. Rock of ages, let us have praise and saving power. Their ability is restored to our sheltering power. Here you stay as well as but your help available and your word will go through the world to help them tell us.
Du släppte upp pappa. Nu gav du det tillbaka. Ja, precis. Absolut. Eller vi har kört mer av det. Hej då. Hej då. Hej då. Tack så mycket ni kom. Tack för sitt. Var försiktig. Du sover pappa va? Nej. Hej då.